today's video, we're going to be doing most dangerous fidget spinners. This is a different intro than the one I had originally, so ignore the random change of clothes and time, because actually the other one got corrupted, unfortunately, which sucks. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys are new here on this show, I have a series called Most Dangerous. I invented it like over three months ago, and ever since it's become one of you guys' favorite series on the channel, and as soon as fidget spinners got super popular, you guys started just destroying the comment section requesting this. You guys have been requesting it for over a month, and I've been working the video for over three weeks, but the thing is, is I ordered the stuff overseas, which was my fault, and the stuff took forever to get here, and it was really starting to piss me off, because it was one of those things where I kept getting set like a date of where they said it was gonna be shipped, and then it kept getting pushed back to a later date, to a later date, to a later date. I thought was never gonna get her honestly it was just a pain in the ass but what matters is it's all finally here and we're gonna be doing this if you guys can smash that like button I would greatly appreciate that that's gonna be a 20,000 likes guys just because it's one of you guys favorite series and so many of you guys requested this so yeah 20,000 likes guys that would be awesome but we're gonna start right now before that I want to make sure credit goes to where credit is due like I said I've been working on this video for over three weeks but since then a few other youtubers have done it I know more Wolfie has done it and Tanner Fox and video ideas have stolen for me all the time without any credit whatsoever and it sucks but that's just the real world of YouTube, unfortunately, but I want to make sure credit goes where credit is due. So yeah, credit to more Wolfie and Tanner Fox, but we're going to be doing these a little bit differently and doing it my way as always, so we're going to go ahead and get started on that. All right, guys, you guys have seen, like I said, fidget spinners. They spin really fast. You can do tricks with them, like this. Throw one end of the other hand. And I invented my own trick. If you guys can do this trick, tag me in on Instagram and I'll follow you. Basically what you do is you throw it from this arm to the other arm, like that. It's kind of hard to do. Oh, there you go. All right, so again, you spin it, throw it up, and then catch it right there. It has to keep spinning now. All right, that's a trick. But anyway, what it is basically, you guys have seen, if you get an air compressor, basically can make it move really fast. So we're going to be showing you guys that these things are dangerous without adding blades. And then once we add blades and eventually knives, it gets pretty scary. So here we go. Right here is air compressed. You guys hear it? It's like a fan. I dare to jam your finger to it. Oh my there. god. <laughs> if I can stop it, I'm manlier than Parker. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Fuck! We screamed a lot more than I said. We were equal. I stopped it though. <laughs> Alright, go, 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 go! Ow! <laughs> I felt like I got punched a million times by tiny men. <laughs> Oh, it hurts like a bitch. <laughs> now we're gonna try it on this glass. <laughs> Alright, ready? My eyes are open. Oh, oh holy shit. shit! I didn't even drop it yet. I just nicked it and it fucking shattered. Holy shit! Alright, now we're gonna drop it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> In hindsight, that was probably smart to do outside. <laughs> So right here, I'm gonna try to stretch Armstrong's face. <laughs> He's like, oh, what a shiatsu massage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so a lot of YouTubers are having problems with their air compressors and they haven't been able to get them exactly as fast as you can go. And they've been using really weak glasses like this one. So I'm trying this now with a really thick glass. This is as thick a glass I can find in my house, actually. It's pretty thick, as you can see. And it doesn't break too easy. So we're gonna find out if this will break it. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, holy shit! <laughs> Look how thick that glass is! <laughs> oh my god! I didn't think it was gonna work, to be honest. I think if I just glue this part, I could probably still use this cup. <laughs> I can do it! I can do it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, right here, my fidget spinner. Right here is a bottle of Coke. I'm gonna try and open that bottle of Coke with my fidget spinner. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So, like I said, we're gonna be showing you guys the regular fidget spinners and see how much damage those can do. I've already kind of showed you guys that a little bit, but we're gonna be upgrading these now. These ones we're not gonna upgrade because they're already pretty dangerous in their own right, just by being the shape that they are. They actually aren't that sharp. They're sharp enough to do damage, but not sharp enough to cut you, which is cool because you can still play with them. But if you put enough force on them, like this. 
<laughs> it's definitely pretty dangerous as you can see because it is at the end of the day a ninja star so it's a genji design ninja star that made out of metal really freaking awesome tomorrow all right guys you guys are seeing a little bit of a jump in time right now because it took a long time to actually set the fidget toys up and it got too late to actually do anything outside so right now we have the man josh here Hello. and what we're gonna be doing because josh is a classic member of the most dangerous series so what we're gonna be basically doing is what we've done in some of the older we did uh, most dangerous series basically having a contest to see who can make the most dangerous fidget toy. i've already made mine he's gonna make his before you guys see it next and you guys in the comments are gonna decide whose fidget toy do you guys think is cooler as far as the dangerous level goes and uh, we'll have to decide what you guys say in the winners. right now i am the leading throne king of the most dangerous design i think i may even lose this time because i didn't build mine with that in mind but we'll find out all right guys so right here me and josh have finished our as you see we have chopsticks in order to spin them because last night i had the brilliant idea to try and spin it <laughs> in my fingers and right there you see two different uh it's like three scabs actually from different slashes that happened to me minor ones thankfully but not the most intelligent move basically i put chopsticks in order to spin that this is mine again guys using the vote in the comment section right now who's do you guys like better this one right here is mine i went with the classic ninja star design it's basically slashing all this direction and it's double layered so put the tape there as like security but it's you know it's just glued on there too but Hopefully that stays on there. So that's mine right there. And here's Josh right here. I have to give Josh props. That's pretty freaking awesome. If I saw this thing spinning at me, I would just <laughs> wish for death. I would not even want to deal with the consequences of getting a wound from that thing. Down below, let us know, guys, who's you guys think was better, Joshua's or mine? All right, guys, so we're going to be going outside soon and testing out all the different ones we have. But here's one of the ones that's a single blade design, kind of like mine, but this is basically double layered. And yeah, I'm gonna make the stupid decision again to try and spin this on my hand. <laughs> no! Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're fucking scared. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, gonna go for a tip number two. Do not try this at home. Um, probably a bad decision, but here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh, I got your hand pass. Here it goes. He's not done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking sweating, dude. That fucking scared All right, guys, so as you see, the Nerf Rival Mask are on. That means shit just got real. So basically, we're gonna do the air compressor thing again, but with the bladed one. So we're gonna have to hope me and Josh did a really good job on our taping and gluing job, because otherwise, there's some problems here. Ready? Oh my god, that is so, I was getting so fucking scared. This plastic bag right here. Dude, that many soul oh my, oh my god. god! That would you fuck your day up. The crazy thing is how many fucking individual slices there are. So now we're gonna be trying Josh was as he grabs a fucking pillow and I have nothing. I'm gonna fucking hope to god Josh we did a good job taping and gluing this. Before the past, you have Because you have fucking way more blades, I think. Yeah, we have way more blades in total. You ever get like a th I've gotten little cuts that are like one that size, you know, and they're irritating as shit. Imagine this many. Dude. Fuck that. Okay, I'm glad we're done with this part of the test. Now we're going to the throwing test. All right, guys. So why I always say to save your vote until after the damage test because right now we're gonna find out. Well, he did pretty good on the hot dog. I'll give him that. <laughs> but next we're gonna be doing the stick test and the impact test. So right there, over there, we have a watermelon, and that is gonna be where we do the stick test. Basically, see who sticks deeper and easier into the target. Ready? Fidget spinner into star. Here we go. Oh! Let's see, okay, so mine did two prongs of damage. I can't get it out. Right about here. So it was like, basically that whole part was in, right here from here to there. Not the most damage, but it did stick. That's the point, was to see if your, your item could stick. Now it's Joshua's turn. <laughs> right. oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> so at least you made it better. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I think you won the the the, impact, the uh, fucking. You do. You wait. You want. You you could do so. You. Dick test too. You got fucking three prongs in. God damn. All right. Next up is the impact slash bleed test. I guess you could say. So he's gonna be throwing his at this one, and then this one right here is gonna be his or mine. I mean, and basically we're gonna see who's caused the most damage to this container and which one runs out of fluid faster. All right. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, my God. I'm really glad that didn't come off in the spin test. That would have been in my fucking rib cage. Completely came so off. So did I win by default? <laughs> I may have just won by default. So here he goes again. Here we go. Oh, holy shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. You're like the worst throwing skills I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, here goes a tip number 67. <laughs> Damn! What the fuck? <laughs> no fucking damage. <laughs> it made a cute little dance. You just gave it a nipple. That's about it. <laughs> all right, guys. Now it's my turn. Here we go. Hopefully, this is where I've lost all the other competition, but this is what I think really matters the most. So hopefully, I can make myself up here. You're more experienced with throwing, so I think. You're <laughs> Set. Go. Aw. This <laughs> What the? No, that is not a bad. Look at that. That's a fucking whole split oh, right there. Yeah, that's yeah. a whole gash. Oh! oh! <laughs> Double slice <laughs> in there. I definitely won the bleed test. So now, if you haven't voted already, if you have voted, just edit your comment. Uh, ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So next up, we're gonna be testing out the Genji fidget spinners. These are freaking dope. They're basically Genji's Ninja Stars from the video game Overwatch. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's a pretty awesome game. And this is the Ninja Stars using the game. And I have a full set of them. We're gonna be trying these out and basically throwing them at different targets. Obviously, guys, do not use this for anything. You guys see me using it for in the video today. But I actually have a second set of them that I'm gonna be giving away to you guys. I've had problems with giveaways in the past because YouTube's like comment notification system is so terrible. So I'm basically using a website called Gleam. It's at the top of the description. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have heard of it before. And that'll basically notify you guys if you win. It's a lot more, less complicated than in the past. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway, I'll put it at the top of the description and you guys can win a full set of Genji Ninja Stars. Again, guys, do not use it whatsoever for anything you guys see me using it for in this video. But anyway, we're gonna start on testing these out. Trying this out on Jeff. I'm not sure if it's gonna work on him, but we're gonna try this out. And I'm going for a profile shot, ready? I'll talk and shit, so like... <laughs> Jeff is always just won't shut the fuck up! Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work to be honest, dude. All right guys now We're gonna be doing a Genji star toss into the melon seeing exactly what will happen here and here we go Ready for this? Three, two, one. Oh! It cracked it all the way back here Holy shit three two one In the side <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Come back! <laughs> I found it! Yeah, Marcus. <laughs> like a mess around the afterbirth. Yeah, Ninja open. toys can be pretty dangerous. Look at the Look at the hand. Alright guys, so now we're messing around with the big boy. <laughs> right here, we have a fucking like windmill ninja star. <laughs> this thing is gigantic. These are fucking kitchen knife blades on them. I haven't seen a fidget spinner quite like this yet. That's definitely fucking interesting. <laughs> That's scary. Ready, <laughs> <laughs> <Is it? laughs> Josh? Holy fucking, fucking shit, scary. dude. That is fucking terrifying, my man. All right, guys, now we're getting official here. We're using the big, giant windmill shuriken against the jug and doing a few throw tests, but this is definitely what I've been the most excited for, so here it goes. Oh, oh. That went all the way in, dude. And Damn. then bounced out a little bit. Go. <laughs> that was so Damn. silent. That was so silent. Oh, this didn't even go in. <laughs> that is like the most lethal, like, quiet thing. Go. Oh! Shit! <laughs> Holy fucking crap! That rained, it went right dude. Into the water. And then it bounced and just fell in the melon. <laughs> Well, I think uh, yeah, that wraps that up part up. All right, guys, so you guys loved the steel wolf thing from last time, so I decided why not take the most dangerous fidget spinner where basically it's on fire and has sparks flying all over. So this is basically a steel wolf fidget spinner. Kind of don't know how it's going to work out. I don't know if these are going to stay on here or not, but hopefully they do, and this will work out and be awesome sparking fidget spinner. All right, all right, good. Now that's the most dangerous fidget spinner. Dude, that 